Hey planner friends, it's Ashley. In this video, I'm going to talk about memory keeping must have So the things that I think are absolutely necessary to have in your memory keeping arsenal. And I'm also going to give you some different tips along the way. Now, if you love memory keeping, if it's something that you love doing, you enjoy doing, or if you are new to memory keeping and it's something that you want to get into, make sure you hit the subscribe button because I do have some more memory keeping videos coming up in the future. Now, if you know me and you follow me or you've been around for a while, you know I love the Happy Planner, so most of my memory keeping supplies do come from the Happy Planner. I will link everything that I can, though, down below in the description box. The first thing I want to talk about that is a must is a way to store all of your memories and to document everything and a place to put all of your photos. Now, for me personally, I use a big Happy Planner. This is not one of their memory keepers. The Happy Planner does have memory keepers, but Usually they're sold out or they're really hard to find. So I just went with a regular planner. It works great, there's nothing wrong with it. I just want you to know that you do not have to have a memory keeper. Now the one that I'm using is a big planner, but you could also use a classic. You could also use a mini. I just think a mini would be a little bit harder to memory keep in and to get the full like week or day or whatever documented, especially if you have kiddos because Mamas, we take a lot of pictures of these babies, right? So for me, I wanna have the most space, so I go with a big. Now I love this big planner it is amazing i store all kinds of different photos inside of here different memories i add um extra little photos that i order inside of here stickers like all kinds of fun things go inside of this so you need a place to store all of your memories it doesn't matter if it's a planner if it's a memory keeper whatever you have works just fine so that's number one number two you need a way to print photos. Now for me personally, I recently got a Canon selfie so I could print photos at home because I have been memory keeping for a couple of years and I knew that this was just something I needed to invest in. But listen, I didn't always have a way to print photos at home. I actually ordered everything from Walmart. I would order all my photos and whenever we went to the grocery store, I would go pick them up. I decided to go ahead and make an investment into a printer to have at the house because I'm memory keeping so often and I wanted to be able to keep up with it more frequently. I do recommend if it's something that you are dedicated to, something you truly love or you really want to get into, if you can at some point, it's worth making the investment to be able to print your photos at home for the convenience, especially right now and with everything going on in the world, you know, we're not going out as often or whatever. Like for us, we're not going to the grocery store as much. So what was happening is I would get like three or four weeks behind before I would order photos and then it just gets overwhelming. It's a lot. So I do recommend this, but listen, if you cannot make an investment into this, I completely understand. I was the same way for a couple of years, so I totally get it, but you can definitely order your photos from like Walmart, Walgreens, um, CVS. I mean, there's tons of options as far as ordering your photos go and they're fairly inexpensive and really good quality. I actually loved ordering photos from walmart.com. The photos are cheap and they're, they're really good quality, but you just need a way to print your photos. It doesn't matter how you do it. Whatever works for you is totally fine, but I do recommend the Canon selfie if you are gonna make an investment into a photo printer to have at home. And I do have a review up of this on my YouTube channel if you wanna know more about the Canon selfie. Next up is one of my favorite things, and that is stickers. Yes, I think this is a must. I totally think stickers is a must. Now, I have some memory keeping stickers here that are from the Happy Planner, but you do not have to have memory keeping stickers. You can have any stickers, and it doesn't matter what brand they're from, whatever stickers that you love. I love the Happy Planner stickers. I love their sticker books. I love their style. So I do recommend them, but that's entirely up to you based on your preference. Stickers are just a great way to decorate your spreads whenever you are memory keeping. So I think that they are definitely a must and something worth getting. The next thing that I think is a must is a way to stick your photos down inside of your memory keeper. Now for me, I like Tombow double-sided adhesive tape. This tape runner is awesome. I love it. It is my favorite. And the cool thing is, is whenever you run out of tape, you don't have to go buy a whole new thing. It comes apart and you can buy replacements for it. But I do recommend whenever you get one, go ahead and get the replacements for it. Have a pack of these laying around because what you don't want to happen is you're sitting at your desk, you have all of your memory keeping supplies laid out, all of your photos are printed and ready to go, and you're sitting there and then all of a sudden you run out of tape and you don't have any replacements, so then you can't finish your memory keeping. That's happened to me plenty of times, so it's kind of a pain in the butt. If you do go with the Tombow double-sided tape, like I said, go ahead and get an extra pack of these. Now, if you do not wanna get the Tombow double-sided tape, I will sometimes use a glue stick. 
Glue sticks work just fine, nothing wrong with them. These are way cheaper than the Tombow double-sided tape. And it's something your kids can use too. So I'm sure that you already have glue sticks at home on hand. Now there are definitely other ways that you can adhere your photos into your memory keeper. It doesn't have to be a glue stick. It doesn't have to be the Tombow double-sided tape. There's tape strips you can get. There's the little sticky dot things that you can get. Tons of options. These two are my favorite though. So either one of these is what I would recommend. Now the next thing I recommend, especially for using the Happy Planner, is to have a Happy Planner punch. This is amazing, I use this all the time, so let me show you. Like these photos in here. I ordered these from walmart.com and I still use walmart.com and I really love ordering some of these bigger photo sets because it has all of this white space over here so you have plenty of room to punch it and then you can stick it inside of your planner. So that's why I think the punch is necessary. I also punch paper and stick inside of here. So the punch is necessary. And the next thing I wanna talk about, this is something that you don't actually have to go purchase anything with. It's something that you already have. So for me, what I do as a part of my evening routine, I use the notes app on my phone to document things that happen throughout the day. And then I print that off at the end of the month and I stick it in the monthly section of my planner. And I do this for a couple of reasons. One, I'm forgetful. <laughs> and I will forget what is happening, what's going on, what we were doing, and so this helps me document all of that and keep track of everything. Two, for me, memory keeping is not just the big moments. It's also the little moments. It's the days that, you know, me and my kiddo just chilled out all day, or my son and my husband went golfing and I stayed at the house all day and I didn't have pictures to document it, but I truly enjoyed it. I had a great time by myself in the quiet <laughs> and I wanna document those things, but I'll forget if I don't write it down. And this is how I write it down, I keep up with it. It's super easy, it's just a part of my evening routine. Definitely something I think is worth starting, even if you haven't started memory keeping yet, because to me, this is something that I can give to my kiddo whenever he gets older and he can go back and see even just the littlest things that we did throughout the day um, when he was little. So I recommend doing this starting today. Like go ahead, get the notes set up on your phone and get it ready to go for the month and start documenting the things that are happening throughout the day. This is extremely helpful whenever you sit down to memory keep. It helps remind you of all the things that are happening. So that's something else. Next up are these page protectors. These are from the Happy Planner. I do recommend these because these are awesome. Let's say you have um, a birthday party and you wanna document that birthday party, but you don't want that one event to take up your entire space inside of your planner. These are great for that. So like this one, for example, you can fit 12 photos on the front, 12 photos on the back, because it'll open up and you can stick um, two photos in each little slot. Right, so one facing this way, one facing that way. Um, so you could put 24 photos inside of this one protective sheet. And so then you can document like a birthday party or events or um, things that's happening around Christmas time or things like that in one sheet and it doesn't take up the entire week. They also have some that come in a mini. These ones here will hold four. Well, technically it'll hold eight because like I said, you can put them on both sides. So there's different um, sizes, different layouts within the um, protective sheets. And I do recommend these ones. These right here are size for a classic planner and I love these because I can put them inside of my big as well. And then these ones here are sized for a big and these ones have a ton of different um, layout options as well. So I do recommend these. These are extremely helpful, especially for those times whenever you have a ton of photos. And I've also used these in my regular planner to create like vision boards. Um, actually, let me show you my vision board real quick. So I used one of those protective sheets to create this vision board. So I just printed some photos off of Pinterest. I have some different quotes and stuff that I created. I sized them down to fit inside of these little squares, printed them off, cut them out, and I stuck them in there. So I have a little vision board right here in the front of my fitness planner. So I do recommend those. They are definitely handy to have whenever you are memory keeping. Next thing I wanna talk about is expander discs. If you are just getting started with memory keeping, you won't necessarily need these in the beginning, but if you've been memory keeping for a while, these are gonna come in handy. So this right here is a classic size Happy Planner discs. And the planner that I am using to memory keep comes with a classic size disc on it. And this is the size of a expander disc. You can see the difference in sizes there. 
with the expander disc, you can hold more on it. So with my memory keeper, let me set these out of the way. With my memory keeper, you can see here the cover won't even stay closed because it's starting to get super, super thick. And I'm not even a fraction of the way through this planner yet. I still have basically a year left inside of this planner to keep memory keeping. So I will take the discs that are on it, which are these ones, they're classic size discs, and I'm gonna swap those out for expander discs so I can hold more on one set of discs. I really like doing this because I like to keep an entire year of memories on one set versus having like two planners for the year, which is okay, even if you do that, I might actually end up having to do that even with the expander disc. But I do recommend expander discs. Like I said, if you're just getting started, you won't need these right away, but it's something to think about for future. The next thing I wanna talk about is cardstock. So I will pick up cardstock. I do not buy a ton of cardstock at once, but I will pick up some different cardstock and I like using it inside of my planner. Like I have some floral ones here. I have some plain ones. I actually have some, well, I don't have any more because I used them. I had some for Christmas. Let's see, December. Like this one right here, I was using this to document some things that was happening in December. And so I really loved using the cardstock for that. It's a way to document happenings, kind of like the protective pages. It's a way to document some big things that are happening without it taking over the entire week, if that makes sense. So I do recommend some cardstock, although I don't think it's necessary to go out and buy a ton of it at once. I know for me personally, when I get into the cardstock aisle and I start looking at everything, I'm like, oh my gosh, I need this one and this one and this one. And before you know it, I have like 300 sheets of cardstock and it's just too much, it's too overwhelming. So what I do is I will get some cardstock that's like for Christmas and I have some for Thanksgiving or some for Valentine's Day or some, maybe some florals. Just a couple of each, I pick out my favorites and that's what I use. But I do recommend cardstock. It's just a fun element that you can add inside of your memory keeper. You can use it as a backdrop to photos. If you wanna maybe give them a shadow or something, you could use this or make it more colorful. You can also use these punches on your cardstock to create different shapes to put inside of your planner. So like this cardstock here, that's what I was doing with it, was I was cutting those out with this one, and then I was using that inside of my planner. Is this something that I 100% recommend? Not really, because this was something that I've seen other people use, and I was like, I have to have that, and I literally have used it once on these pages right here. But it is fun to have. You can actually just take your scissors and cut out triangles or whatever and use the um, cardstock. I do recommend the cardstock over this, that's for certain. Now something else that's been really handy for me is I use this little pencil pouch. This is from the Happy Planner. This has been, like I said, it's been really handy. I keep extra photos, some extra photos inside of here. I keep my glue stick inside of here. This is also where I keep these little snap-in tabs, these are from the Happy Planner. These are a must. You can find these, definitely pick them up, pick up a couple of packs of them. Because for example, let's say with this photo right here, okay, maybe if I can get this out of here. Let's say with this photo, see how I don't have room to punch it and to stick it in my planner, but maybe I don't wanna actually adhere this one to the page because it's so big. That's where these little snap-in tabs come into play. So you'll peel it off, this will stick to, your picture, whatever you have. If it's some artwork that your kid made or something like that, you can stick this to it and then it'll pop right inside of your planner. So I do recommend these. I will try to find some links to them and I will have that in the description box. These are a must, but I do love having just a little pouch to store some of my random supplies in that I will lose if I don't keep them all together. And it's nice to be able to pull this out and have it whenever I am memory keeping. And something else that I use to store everything is this little bin that I picked up from Ikea. I love this bin. It keeps most of my memory keeping supplies in here all together. So I have a bag of washi. I have some of these uh, cards that came from the Happy Planner. I have some extra photos that I've printed, some stickers inside of here that I'm using to document my son's Cub Scout journey. And then I also keep this inside of here. I keep my double-sided tape inside of here. So it all stays in this one little container. So whenever I go to memory keep, I can pull this out and I'm not having to go to a ton of different drawers or boxes or containers and find all kinds of different supplies that I need. It's all in there together. And I also keep all of my cardstock together. Actually, this is the pile that I have of stuff that usually sets on top of my memory keeper. So I have cardstock on here. I have some extra date stickers on here. I have some note paper. 
This is a cardstock pack from the Happy Planner. I don't know that this is available anymore. I've had this for a long time and I've been hoarding it. <laughs> so I have that. Then I also have some old um, photos that I had printed out. They are inside up here. So I keep all of this together. So whenever I go to Memory Keep, I pull it all out at once. And that's another tip that I have is to keep all of your supplies together. So one, you're actually using everything that you have. And then two, it also makes it easy to get everything out and then clean everything up and everything has a home. Now there's other things like um, scissors. You'll need some scissors. I recommend tweezers. Uh, I just use tweezers that you pluck your eyebrows with. They have those fancy tweezers at the craft store. These are cheaper and you can actually get like a three pack of regular tweezers. So you can pluck your eyebrows with one and use one for stickers and then have an extra set, right? For the price of the ones from the craft store. So I do use tweezers a lot. These are great for little stickers, placing stickers down and different things like that. Scissors, like I said, um, pens, pencils, different things like that. I'm not going to go into detail with all of that stuff because that's just kind of basic supplies that we all have around our house anyways. So that my friends is going to be the supplies that I recommend for memory keeping. As you can tell, it's not a ton of things. I don't think that you need a bunch of things to memory keep. The most basic is, you know, your, your planner or your memory keeper, a way to print photos and a way to stick those photos down and then some stickers if you want to decorate. Everything else really you don't absolutely have to have. Those are the basics the must-haves, the things that I think are essential whenever it comes to memory keeping. And those are some of my tips. And like I said, my biggest tip is to start this immediately, like today, start writing stuff down so you will have it. I promise you this is one of the most helpful things I've ever done whenever it comes to memory keeping. So definitely implement that. And like I said, if you're into memory keeping, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. Have an incredible day, my friend, and I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.